Hey guys, Mr. Backberg here. In this video, we're going to start taking a look at some three-dimensional solids. As we're looking at these three-dimensional solids, there's going to be two different categories of solids that we deal with. There's going to be polyhedra, and there's going to be non-polyhedra. And we'll talk about the difference with those things a little bit later on. But first, let's focus on a polyhedra. A polyhedra is a three-dimensional solid that's bound, or its sides, are made up of different polygons. Now, we're going to talk a little bit of vocab with these polyhedra first before we do anything else. Now, as far as those polygons go that are around the outside of our figure, we call those faces of our polyhedra. Now, where we've got two faces coming together, it makes a line segment, and we call that an edge. And then if we have three or more edges coming together at a point, those are our vertex points. Now, there are two main kinds of polyhedra that we're going to deal with. The first one is a prism. And what happens with a prism is we have two congruent polygons working as the bases. So we can kind of think about those things as like the top or bottom of our figure. And then all the other faces or all the other sides of our polygon are made up of rectangles. Now, as we're talking about these prisms, the way we name them is by taking a look at whatever base figure it is and then just add prism onto the end of it. So if we're dealing with base figures of triangles, then we would call it a triangular prism. If our bases are rectangles, then we would call it a rectangular prism. Or if our bases are a square, then we could call that a square prism. Now our other kind of polyhedra is a pyramid. So in a pyramid, we've got one base polygon, and then the other faces are made up of triangles. And similar to naming a prism, to name a pyramid, we're going to take a look at what the base figure is and then add pyramid onto the end. So if we have a pyramid with a triangle base, then we would call that a triangular pyramid. Or if we had a triangle with a rectangular base, we would call that a rectangular pyramid. Now as far as our non-polyhedra salads go, there's going to be three of them that we deal with. The first one is a cylinder, and you could sort of compare a cylinder to a prism except its bases are circles. The next one we've got is a cone, and a cone you can kind of compare to a pyramid, but again, it's got a base figure of a circle. And then our third non-polyhedral solid that we'll deal with is a sphere, or just like a ball shape. So what we should notice is different about these non-polyhedra versus our polyhedra that we talked about are having circles or curved edges. So that's the big distinction between the two, having a curved edge versus having all straight line edges. Now, as we're focusing on our different polyhedra, there's a formula that we can use to relate the number of faces, vertices, and edges within our polyhedra. Now, this formula was proven and named after the Swiss mathematician Leonard Euler. So this is Euler's theorem. And what Euler's theorem says, if we take the number of faces plus the number of vertices, then that has to equal the number of edges plus two for any polyhedra that we're dealing with. That's going to be it for this video. Thanks for watching.